Hey guys, Trick 2 k here, and uh, I was um, asked if I could do a video of how to make a 180 turn and, and whatnot from from another video, uh, the one where I explain how you can make 1.5 million SP or how far you want to go, really. So yeah, uh, I thought like everyone already kind of knew how to, to control the car, but I guess there are some people that are new to the game that hasn't been playing any of the previous NFS titles. Um, that might not be accustomed to the the way the car handles. So I thought I'd go over my basic tips and strategies for for cars uh, as a racer. Start without that, and I will follow up with, with um, um, a cop version if uh, anyone thinks that would be good or or necessary. Um, f for the um, ease of this one, I'm I'm just gonna choose the free car which you have gotten from the free update, <coughs> the Ford Mustang GT. Because everyone has that car, and and I'm be focusing on on lower levels, because once you get to the high level and unlock the and uh, the, the later cars, you probably have quite a good hang on how you control the cars and uh, and whatnot. But this is actually one of the best cars, if not the best car. Um, the Cayman is also very good, um, but as you can see, it's not really as strong. I mean that the top speed is uh, higher and the acceleration is higher and also the strength and durability, but um, the control is much better, so it, it's easier to um, to control a car like the, the Cayman, but it's a, l a little bit weaker in, in terms of racing and uh, also withstanding hits from cops and that sort of thing. So yeah, let's go with the Mustang. <coughs> now for Pursuit Tech, um, you have two um, options really, well you have a lot of options, uh, but basically you should fit the car with the pursuit tech needed for the event you're trying to to do, and but and basically um, in, in all events, um, if you want to get the the best times and uh, you should always go with the the turbo, and either choose the uh, uh, shock wave or the the jammer because um, those are the only things you you need really. Actually, like the 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 jammer is. Uh, probably the best choice if you're, you're not in a speed list where you're supposed to take down another player. Um, because the less aggressive you are towards other players with weapons and, and hitting them, the the less aggressive they will be to, to you. And there's no real trouble in outrunning the cops and the turbo is always useful. And especially when on uh, when you're on this low level, uh, it it's not that long so you can use the turbo quite frequently on more or less every every place so let's just go with that for for now DSF is a good choice if you want both a weapon and protection because you can hit cars with it and it'll also protect you against an EMP um, <clears throat> I would recommend even though you unlock a car um, every time you complete a speed list you can see here and I also did a, a list of when the cars, um, what they look like when it's maximum upgraded. And you can see I have to go quite far to ranking up. Now we're up to, to tier 2. And this is, yeah, I guess this is the thing that uh, unlocks after it, or this one that, you know, quite similar. G3RS obviously being the better choice. Um, but it takes a while before you get these cars. So my best advice if you're struggling a bit with your SP is to choose one car, just fully upgrade that car instead instead of bothering with getting an, anything else and as, as soon as you have a maximum upgraded your car which preferably should be the Ford Mustang GT since it's the, the, the free one if you're, you're starting out and then just go with the, the next car instead and uh, that way you will save a lot of speed points uh, by doing that because it will throw you a car all the time so you bas basically have uh, a list flooded with the cars before you even have you know like in the near the the SP you need unless you use the uh, the, the farming trick. Um, all right, well let's go over the standard controls. Let's choose like <coughs> um, yeah, I think this is a good spot. And I'll just go like like the the, uh, the basic controls and and what could be good and um, what to think of when you do this and that. All right, so 
first the the e brake which I made to, to make the 180 turn. Um, you should never use that ever um, if you not really really needed to. Like if you you're going to make like a 180 turn or t turn around or something. If you use it in a turn, most likely what will happen. Let's see, I'm gonna boost here. Uh, is that your car will spin around very easily. Okay, so I'm going to try full speed and then I'm gonna use the... Yeah, you see? E-brake made, made me spin around very fast. So it's really hard. To make the E-brake, you shouldn't brake at all, but just steer and then press the E-brake. And once your car is about to spin around, you just um, press the acceleration button. See if I can do it. Like, brake and then just gas. It might be you want to do like, you know, double, yeah, like brake and, and uh, e-brake at the same time, but you can do this just fine as well. And the trick is to, to make it a good one, it's just to, to turn around and once it's here just start to gas if you're going at high speed. You, you know, you can stop on a dime, so even if you're very close to something, you can always like, you know, stop and turn around. It's not very, very sim-like in that sort of way. Uh, let's see, I think that could be, uh, yeah, start drifting as well, could be a little bit tricky at first, but basically double tap is the easiest way, like steer and then double tap to start drifting. Double tap, you might have to let go of the gas as well, and then boost whenever you feel like, and then you have to like sometimes control, like wiggle the analog stick a little bit back and forth, try to control the drift at some times, and, and also if you get into 2D corner at too much high speed, you can actually just hold down the, the brake button, like here. See, I just hold it down, I didn't let go of the gas, you should never let go of the gas. If you don't really need to, you're going to way too fast. So just use that, and you should be just fine. See, too much speed, hold down the brake, don't touch the e-brake, that will most likely make you spin around. If you are going really, really too fast and try to save it, then just like tap it a little bit just tap it quickly very quickly if not then you probably will have you know the car spinning out on you which is what you don't want so yeah and um basically get, get, getting around in the the world and getting the best times on the the tracks is of course by racing this game a lot and because you will learn how the, the tracks go where the bends are where you can use the, the turbos, which is the most important to getting those good times in time trials and whatnot. Um, so that's probably the the basic of, about drifting, because drifting is the one thing you, you want to get you know to to know uh, and uh, master as soon as possible. Uh, cop. Now the turbo is very useful as well when you have a cop on your tail, like. Say this, and you have a car that you know, um, and you outrun him, but it keeps popping back up in the in your mirror. It's just like escape started, and then uh, then it said uh, that you're escaping, then pursuit resume, and then escape, and then pursuit resume. Basically, to outrun a car really quickly, make sure it follows you, and then just turn around, hit the turbo, and then you should be fine if you have any turbo. But just like turn around, it's often you know, like. The, the easiest one. Oh yeah, here's a good part for those that had problems with the speed list of getting the, the long drift. Let's see if I can do it with this part. Just try to like wiggle. Uh, almost. So 222. I'm not sure if that's the um, the one that you need, but basically if if you need any, any higher, just um, make sure the car goes in at a higher speed. And make sure to maintain the drift. You can actually like slam to the wall. Uh, and, you know, like, uh, let's see if I can, like this, and it will still count as a drift. So that's quite useful. Um, I know some people have problem with that speed list because they have no idea how do I manage to pull that one off. But basically, just do that one. You can practice and do, do it a lot of times. Um, you can use just use this one right here. Um... Oh, I think it's a, yeah, this one. Just use this and start this as a time trial, and um, use the, the turbo, and you should just be um, be fine. Um, 
Let's see that someone beat me at the time trial. Hmm. Might have to repair that. We can have it like that, can we? Hmm. Most certainly not. Um, yeah, what, is el what else is good to know? Um, I don't know, the you know, best trick to stay alive is actually to don't use your weapons on your opponents, because the more aggressive, as I said, you are to your opponents, the, the more likely they would be aggressive to you. So you can actually do a hot pursuit event uh, without anyone using any power-ups on, on you. So just, like, you know, cruise by and try not to hit him as well, if, if possible, because, just because you'll um, lose speed as well. And, and basically, you know, you have to retry the events probably a couple of times at, at first before you, you know the track, which is essential. And then maybe you, you just had a little bit of bad luck uh, when you started the, the event with random cops spawning or whatever. Oh yeah, that's a good tip as well. You know, um, when you're going at really, really high speed, like say down the, the highway in a fast car, and you have the cops around you, then magically a cop just like spawns in the in middle lane from the road and crashes you out right and you have no chance of what to avoid to the fuck to be able to avoid that is he hunting me i know that dude is drunk maybe just wanted to show us bentley the cops will always spawn in the middle of the road so whatever you do when you're cruising try staying at the, the right side of the road or the left side of the road and you should be fine just try to avoid the middle of the road because that's where they, they, the cops will spawn so if you're going in like in 350 kilometers per hour like this and a cop spawns like 50 meters in front of me there's no way in hell you would be able to avoid him so just to Try and stay on the left or right side of the, the lane. Um, one other thing we can cover as well. Uh, let's see if I can get down here. Which is also a quite common problem that most people have with this game. Is the jumps. There are a lot of jumps in this world. And you probably found a few of them. And tried to do, do a good jump and a long score. But it didn't count. Basically, you probably went too fast. Because the problem is you have to hit the jump at you know, the exact like same spot or else it, it won't count. And, and the problem is most frequent what I've noticed with the, the uh, high level tier of cars. If you're using like a low level tier car like this one, your car will probably not have any problems with, with the jumps. But you'll probably also notice that you were no way as near as long as your friends that did did a jump. So, um, especially I had problems. I thought the the Koenigsegg Air for the cop was a good car to use. Nope, it's not. It's one of the worst cars to use actually because um, I remember I did like one jump probably 20 times before it registered, and the. Uh, problem with the most jumps was that whenever I hit the jump in too high speed the it, it wouldn't register and I had to like slow down in order for it to to count also using the NOS somehow made it a little bit more uh, difficult to to get to jump to register but it's a common problem everyone has it I'm, I'm sure the the ghost and EA are aware of this and and hopefully they will address this uh, in an upcoming patch um, yeah, all right. I think that's that's it for now. Um, just like a basic tutorial on how to get around in ESP world and ESP rivals. Sorry. Um, so if there is anything you you want to know, um, something you're curious about, or something you find hard, or something you want any tips, um, just let me know and I'll, I'll try to respond in a comment. Or if you need another video, I'll, I'll be happy to make that for you. All right. See you next time. Next time. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.